I was out at Brian's Merrill Green Stadium on Saturday as the Salido Eagles took on the Hitchcock Bulldogs in a neutral site non-district game. Late in the second quarter, Salado led 9-7 over the Bulldogs when Lloyd Jones found Damon McDaniel open for this 9-yard touchdown pass. On the final play of the first half, Jones finds McDaniels again for this 23-yard touchdown to put the Bulldogs up 21-9 at the half. On the first drive of the third quarter, Jones finds McDaniels again and he sprints 74 yards for this touchdown to put the Bulldogs up 28-9. But the Salado Eagles rebound. On this 19-yard touchdown run from Luke Law, the Eagles cut the lead to 28-16. Lloyd Jones finds a new target in Bryce Dorsey, who takes this screen pass 74 yards for the touchdown to put the Bulldogs back ahead 35-16. Into fourth quarter action, Luke Law finds Morgan Adams for this 11-yard touchdown pass and with 146 left in the game, Luke Law takes it in himself from three yards out to cut the Bulldog lead to 35 to 30. Hitchcock recovers the ensuing onside kick attempt to secure the victory. Hitchcock improves to 6 and 0 on the season. The Bulldogs open District 12 3A D1 play Friday hosting Yoakum. Salado falls to 2 and 4 on the season. The Eagles open District 11 for a D2 play Friday at Robinson. I caught up with head Bulldog Craig Smith after the game to discuss the Bulldogs' performance during the game and how this game prepares them for what they're going to see in the future. Well, I'm, I'm really extremely proud of the kids. Uh, kind of got close early on. Uh, they made a lot of plays. We had a couple turnovers towards the end, a couple costly penalties, but hey, in the end, uh, I was proud of how hard they played. Uh, got pretty warm in that second half. I think we were starting to wear it down a little bit, getting a little maybe dehydrated a little, but hey, they stuck together and, and they kept playing, and that's all I can ask. It's a young group, and, and, and I love them guys because they keep on playing. Next week starts the playoffs because you know, Yoakum's coming in, and then we got Columbus and Hallisville, and uh, man, you know, it's it's a super tough district. Uh, I'd put them up against anybody in the state, you know, as far as tough districts. Um, I'm proud of the guys. We just got to keep playing because it, it was a tough game, and uh, we got a couple tough ones coming up.